Dear sisters and brothers in our one God, I join with others across our diocese and our country who are rejoicing in the news that Pope Francis has accepted the invitation of the Catholic bishops of Canada to visit our country on a pilgrimage of healing and reconciliation. Details and timing have yet to be worked out and will follow after the visit and discussion with the delegation of Indigenous leaders this coming December. In recent years, both Catholic and Indigenous leaders have been working toward call to action number 58, in which the Truth and Reconciliation Commission called for Pope Francis to visit Canada to issue an apology to survivors, their families and communities for the Roman Catholic Church's role in the spiritual, cultural, emotional, physical and sexual abuse of First Nations, Inuit and Métis children in Catholic-run residential schools. It is my hope, and I believe the hope of many Indigenous leaders, elders and other non-Indigenous Canadians, that the delegation will be a time of relationship building and sharing with Pope Francis as he hears and discerns what the delegation is saying to him about what would really help bring blessing, healing and renewal. I have heard from many residential school survivors and their communities that a visit from Pope Francis on Canadian soil is an important step for many in the ongoing journey of truth and reconciliation. I am grateful for both the invitation and its acceptance. And I trust that the pastoral presence of the Holy Father will bring support and healing, as well as renewed awareness and zeal for the ongoing journey of truth and reconciliation. Please join me in praying for all those who attended residential schools, for those who continue to suffer because of the legacy of the schools, for the delegation of Indigenous leaders from Canada that will meet with the Holy Father in Rome this December, and for Pope Francis and his planned journey to our land. And let us join in prayer together to our one Creator and Lord of all, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.